my channel if you're new here and you like this kind of content please subscribe babies hit that subscribe button it'll help my channel grow i appreciate everyone so much and we're gonna go ahead and jump into it right now um honey we got a one a new one baby a new one a new one that just come out today in bad taste sick trolls create brown laundries halloween costumes with tide detergent Laundry and flower bed after Gabby's autopsy. As Halloween approaches, sick trolls have taken it up on themselves to dress up as brawn laundry for the holiday. Images of people wearing laundry baskets and flower bed costumes have surfaced online, poking fun at laundry whose fiance Gabby Petito was killed. Awful trolls have used the holiday to make jokes about the case. The costume refers to a theory about Brian Laundry's whereabouts. Found my Halloween costume. I'm going to the house on Halloween, read one post. The man in the photo had a laundry basket wrapped around his waist with a bottle of detergent wedged inside. On the photo was the text, My name is Brian. Another photo on a different website featured a man in a green morph suit with a flower mask on top a flower bed was edited on the image with the title brian laundry's halloween costume this year the sick joke refers to an internet theory that laundry's laundry is hiding in a secret bunker underneath the flower bed in his parents backyard hours after gabby's remains were found in grand teton national park wyoming listings on amazon and etsy had merchandise featuring the vlogger being sold t-shirts with the words hashtag find gabby and praying for gabby petito with the pictures of gabby with pictures of gabby were up for grabs from amazon sellers that were either based or linked to China. Read our Gabby Petito Life blog on Etsy Apparel uh, on Etsy Apparel memorializing Gabby were also being sold with some stores claiming that all proceeds were being sent to Gabby's family. So uh, y'all I'm sorry I messed up on that word. Y'all know how I am. Gabby died from strangle. Oh, okay, from you know what she passed away from. I'm not gonna get into all that, but y'all, that you know, what do y'all think about that? You know, I kind of figured that there would be some, 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 uh, you know, people out here trying to do that kind of crap because of the fact of all these conspiracies of him, uh. You know, being under the flower bed and then the kind of people that has been out there not not protesting in a nice way, throwing baskets out there on the lawn and, and the way that they're acting, you know, you know, to me, this is not OK. It is not a joke and it's not nothing to be made light of or fun of. But then on the other hand, when you've got these people running these fake conspiracy channels and they're doing this crap like this saying that he's in a flower bed or that um that you know just crazy crazy crap you know um people out there throwing laundry baskets and not protesting in a healthy way and acting like nuts then this is exactly what you can expect out to come out of something like that you know that's the reason why i blame you know, not only uh, these people that are making these costumes like that, because I hate to say this, you know, Gabby's uh, death is not a joke. Finding him is not a joke. But when you have people out there doing all this crap for clickbait and these conspiracy theorists, you know, out there saying he's in the flower bed or I've seen him here or I've seen him there or, uh, you know, you you name it, you know. Uh, I mean, I, I can't even think. There's just been so much with this case, you know, not nothing to do with poor Gabby but but you know and then you have uh you know the people out there you know with signs are, are saying that they want or whatever that they want to uh have his sister's children uh you know go after his sister's little little kids and I, I mean it's just crazy stuff you know um that this this case has done become uh almost kind of like a 
a conspiracy theory where he's concerned and it's not supposed to be like that it's supposed to be serious but you know on the other hand that's what happens when you get these people you know up here that does not have a serious and a heart for this case and they take this crap and they run with all this mess and then you have people out there that say they're protesting you know pro up there out there uh you know, doing all this stuff for, for Gabby outside the parents' home, but they decide to throw laundry bra baskets, and they decide, you know, to sit there and, um, you know, uh, put up, you know, make jokes of all, all this stuff, or, or scream, and, and, and squeal, and act like they're, they're going nuts, and all this, and, and calling names, and all this other mess that they're doing, you know, um, I, you know, and I mean, uh, in my personal opinion, you can blame that for this. This is a product of what that has done. So, you know, uh, I don't think the people making the costumes should be 100% to blame because uh, that they're not the product of what has been being done. Uh, they're also, they're just a part of the problem. You know, so this thing, they have made this thing such a joke. Uh, that now this is a repercussion of it, you know, but anyways, babies, I love all of y'all, and I will be uploading some more tonight, um, God bless y'all anywhere y'all are at, whether y'all are right here in America or the UK or anywhere you're listening for, from, I thank you to all my new subscribers, it means so much to me, I appreciate every one of you, and let's pray that they find bra laundry so this mess can be over with and you know i looked for it to be like this just like uh kind of with some of the other cases but i think this one has literally went overboard and i think whenever the name dirty laundry got said on tv everyone just took and ran with that you know and i you know i know i don't want nobody to get mad at me you know i pray for all the families involved on both sides and no his parents have not acted in the way accordingly that any other parents might have acted but everyone has to remember people are different people react different and everyone is not the same and I, I do not agree with them not speaking to her parents i think that is very disrespectful but on the other hand we do not know what they was told uh you know to not speak to anyone but you know me myself i would have had to have spoken to 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 the parents if i had you know had a young lady that was dating my son that long and i had baby girls of my own but you know on the other hand you know we're not supposed to judge anyone we're supposed to also we can criticize their actions and also, you know, uh, cover a case like this, which I know everyone, you know, on YouTube has not done it. But there's a lot of people that has done it respectfully. And Kendall Ray is one of them. I love her so much. She's always done it respectfully uh, from her heart and being very, very, uh, uh, you know, she recognizes trying to know that there's people that is watching her and try to cover the case in a respectful respect a respectfully manner you know to uh coming from it uh with a passion for that and um i commend someone like her that does that and it means a lot to me and stephanie harlow those are my two favorite right there that that, that you know they cover cases and they really have a heart for that and that's what kind of people that we need more of you know uh, not these people that's picking apart ever you know, thing, and out, out there, you know, you want justice for Gabby, to me, the best thing for you to do would be to pray, and also let your, you know, protest, but let it be done in a peaceful manner, because you're not going to get any action out there screaming and throwing laundry baskets and doing all this other crazy mess that these people have been doing, and these channels up there saying that, you know, they're hide, he's hiding in a bunker, or he's, you know, uh, I mean, there's just been, I can name so many things, you know, just so many things, how far they go with these conspiracies and, and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, if you, you do it in a respectful manner, and I'm not here to put anyone down the way they do their channel. You know, everyone don't agree with the way I, I report on my channel. I try to remain in the in the middle. But, I, you know, on the other hand, we all have to remember that at the end of the day, you know, 
the way we judge others and what comes around go, comes back around and that you know you we're all on the outside looking at the inside you know the outside looking at the inside of this situation but we have